behold, the Rolls Royce Wraith Black Badge. A few years ago, I had the opportunity to spend time with this $416,000 car and experience what it's like. I remember thinking at the time, how can anyone justify this kind of price tag on a car? Well, there's nothing like the drive in a Rolls Royce. It is truly a unique experience, and now I get it. So let me tell you what this Rolls Royce Wraith Black Badge is all about, and boy, that is a mouthful. Driving a Rolls Royce is a truly unique experience. It's all about effortless power and ultimate luxury. The cabin is incredibly quiet and all of the materials are of the next level of quality. Everything you touch is authentic metal, wood or leather. It just feels incredible. The leather has this smoothness and softness, but yet it has this beautiful grain and texture to it. I've touched leather in other cars, but it never felt like it does in a Rolls Royce. And I've got to mention this starlight headliner, which is filled with 1500 LED lights and just creates a beautiful ambiance inside of the car. The metal has this weight about it because it's real metal. And the piano black lacquer wood throughout the cabin is deep, rich and looks amazing. As you drive down the road, the famous Rolls Royce Magic Carpet Ride glides you down the road like no other car. But before I get into the driving experience too much, allow me to brief you on some of the specs to give you some context. The Wraith Black Badge has a 6.6 .6 liter V12 engine that pumps out 624 horsepower and 642 pound-feet of torque which has been increased by 40 pounds foot over the standard rate. 642 pound feet of torque, that's pretty, that's pretty amazing. It is the most powerful Rolls Royce for this model year. Rolls claims that this 5,300 pound car can go from zero to 60 in 4.3 seconds with a limited top speed of 155 miles an hour. But you just can't judge a Rolls Royce by all these numbers and figures and facts. This car combines exquisite luxury and an incredibly fun drive. To that end, Rolls-Royce redesigned the air suspension to give the Black Badge a tauter driving experience and more neutral cornering characteristics. Rolls has installed new drive shaft and upgraded their eight-speed transmission. All of this to make the Black Badge a more driver-focused and agile wraith while preserving the intrinsic elements of that effortless Rolls-Royce magic carpet ride. But why would Rolls Royce want to make a more aggressive, sportier version of their super luxurious coupe anyway? Well, according to Rolls Royce, the average age of a Rolls Royce owner is 40 years old. Of the 2,000 cars a year they sell, a fair number of people who buy Rolls Royce customize their cars. More aggressive, they put big wheels on them. As a result of that, Rolls-Royce came out with the Black Badge Edition, which has much more aggressive look about it. They call it a noir look. Um, they don't like to use the term murdered out, but they have blacked out a lot of the trim throughout the car. The icon, the spirit of ecstasy flying lady is black. The grill is blacked out. And the way that they've treated the chrome is they've treated it chemically to really change the color of the metal deep within the metal. So it's more deeper, richer, more authentic blacked out look. The Black Badge Edition also has very unique wheels. Rolls Royce really takes pride in these wheels and they say the kind of wheels you have on a car really sends a statement. But these wheels are pretty unique. It took them four years to create. The rim is carbon fiber, 22 layers of carbon fiber. And those layers are folded back on themselves at the outer edges of the wheel to provide 44 layers of strength. So it's very strong, but of course very light. The alloy part in the middle is forged aluminum and then the alloy is adhered to the carbon using titanium bolts. They've saved about two pounds per 21 inch wheel. Now this car weighs over 5,300 pounds, so saving eight pounds may not sound like a lot, but there is a benefit. Lightweight wheels, it's less unsprung weight, so your car feels more nimble. Notice that double R logo. Logo never spins, even though the rest of the wheel is spinning. There's a disc. It just keeps the Rolls Royce logo stately and upright, no matter how fast that wheel is turning around it. Pretty cool little, little touch.
this is the car that's meant to be driven as opposed to the Phantom. The Black Badge Edition gets more torque. They raise the torque level up to 642 pound-feet of torque, which aids in getting the car off the line. And so this is a nearly 5,400 pound car, and this car can go from zero to 60 in just about four seconds. Huge! This car's wheelbase is actually as big as a Ford F-150 pickup truck. That's how big this car is. But yet it can sprint from zero to 60 in like four seconds. That's an incredible feat. When you put your foot in it, it knows how to go. In addition to that, what they've done is this intuitive throttle response system. In many other cars that have sporting pretensions, you have a sport, you have a sport plus button, and you press that button and it really prepares the car to, to go fast. With Rolls Royce, everything is effortless. There's no need to have your captain of industry press a button to get into Sport Plus. Why do that? If you want to go fast, you just press the accelerator and all of those systems change accordingly. The steering gets firmer, the suspension gets firmer, the transmission realizes that you're doing something more aggressive, it'll keep the engine in the prime sweet spot of its power. All of that happens intuitively and automatically just by pressing the accelerator harder. Should we do it? Let's do it. <laughs> Little wheel spin there. God, that power! Power! If you floor it, you can be in triple digits just like that. Like, pow! <laughs> this car is fast with a capital F. When you floor it, you do hear the wonderful, deep, bassy V12 engine come alive. But look at that power. The transmission is connected to the GPS. It knows what kind of elevation change you're about to encounter. It sees that you're about to get into some turns and the transmission is smart enough to predict what gear you should be in based on the road that you're driving on. And it's because it's all connected to the GPS system. Everything just feels very effortless in this car. The steering around town is very light and it makes for a very pleasurable experience driving this car. It's incredibly quiet. Yes, you do hear the engine faintly in the distance and it has a confident burble about it. You don't hear tire roar. It's one of the quietest cars I've ever been in. And the ride is very smooth and silky. I think Rolls-Royce takes pride in what they call the magic carpet ride. It, you can just glide right over potholes. Again, it contributes to that whole effortless feeling about driving this car. It's, it's, very, it's very relaxing. Can I just say that this car is just fun to drive too? So yeah, it has all this luxury and appointments, but it really can handle turns quite nicely. It's, it's fun. Yes, I'm aware of the mass. It's a big car, but they've created the chassis to really handle it. The air suspension is handling this car very well in its bulk and its weight and size. This car likes big sweeping turns. Nice. Nice, nice. Woo, this car is so good. They've maintained the Rolls Royce nests, meaning the, the magic carpet ride, but yet, the car just feels very controlled and planted. It's not like a 911. I mean, a 911 is much more nimble than this car. Well, let's see if I can, oh, the turning radius isn't good though. Big wide turning radius. I guess that's to be expected for a car this large. Measuring nearly 17 and a half feet long and nearly six and a half feet wide, this is a very large coupe. The benefit of such dimensions is a spacious interior and a large cargo area. This car is, after all, meant for grand touring or crossing a continent. So let's take a closer look inside. 
Of course, this is an exotic car, and therefore you have to have an exotic way to enter this car. I guess they're called suicide doors or reverse opening doors. Pull them open, and they open to you this way, very heavy feeling doors. And they open very wide, so it makes entry very easy. And once you're in the car, oh, by the way, gotta show you this, this cool thing. Right on either door, there are umbrellas in the front quarter panel. One thing I should point out to you is these floor mats, oh, they just feel so soft. There's lamb's wool, beautiful feeling, just so thick. Look how thick that is. I almost hate to put my, my feet on that. It's so luxurious. So you're in the car, right? Door is wide open to get this door handle. Look, look how far away it is. So up here on the sill at easy reach, you press and hold the door button and the door comes to you. That's pretty cool. Once you're inside, you're greeted with ultimate luxury. Rolls-Royce has the utmost standards as far as craftsmanship and quality of materials. Everything you touch, all the touch points feel fantastic. Um, first of all, the leather on here that you're holding on to just feels wonderful. It's so soft and smooth. It's a very kind of thin rim and it actually feels kind of good and it suits this car. But also there is this old world elegance inside of the car. Like for example, the dials here are analog dials. Um, they have this nice jeweled effect about them. There's all sorts of great materials. There's real wood paneling here. In fact, I should mention that this piano black uh, surface here takes them about 30 days to complete. First of all, they have to sand the wood to get it so smooth and then uh, apply so many layers of paint and lacquer onto this to get it that smooth, beautiful black look about it. Since this car is meant for a confident person, the colors that are available to the buyer are also equally as confident. So if you can see here on the doors, there's bright red leather, really creates a bold statement on the interior. Then when you combine that with the beautiful silver trim, with a nice bit of jewelry all around, with the chrome accents over the black, it just really is a nice combination, this black, red, and silver. It looks really good. Now, if you don't like red, they also have other bold colors that you could choose from from you know, a yellow, a mango, uh, a blue that looks really nice. This Wraith happens to have the all black seats, but you can get two-tone seats in here as well. Uh, they're heated and ventilated, of course. Super comfortable, so adjustable with memory and massaging. Right, so let's get in the back seat. Move the seat forward here electronically so you can make yourself enough room. Tons, tons of space back here. The recline of these seats just feels fantastic. I can easily sit behind my six foot three self and have plenty of room. I can spend hours back here, no problem. Maybe that's one of the benefits of a two door coupe being this large. Everything you touch just feels like it just is dripping of quality. Like even this, you know, cup holder cover here, just the metal chrome, uh, that's here in the black lacquer, piano black wood, and just how it moves with this weight about it. How the grip around this iDrive feature here and to operate the uh, infotainment system just really feels wonderful. Another unique touch is this Starlight headliner. It does create and add to the ambiance inside of this cabin, especially at night, creates this cinematic mood lighting inside of this car, this soft glow at night, so you and your passengers feel like movie stars, and the mood lighting makes you all look great because it's so soft and they can put any constellation pattern in this headliner you want. So let's say, for example, you want the stars as they appeared in the sky, uh, on your birthday. They can create that constellation in this headliner for you. They did a great job in here. This, this half the money I'm sure just goes to this interior alone. This car comes with all kinds of safety uh, equipment, lane assist, uh, proximity sensors, night vision shown here. So if you're driving at night and need some assistance to make sure you're not gonna hit a deer, night vision comes up on the screen at a press of a button. You also have those cameras that look left and right. 
So here I am at an inter intersection and I've got trees on my left and trees on my right. This hood really goes out far in front of you. It's very difficult to, to see around this obstacle. They put two cameras, one on the left side pointing left, one on the right side pointing right. You can easily turn those cameras on with just a push of a button here on the dash and I can see if there's any oncoming traffic without putting myself in any danger. Can you believe this? People actually steal or vandalize the spirit of ecstasy on the hood. In the infotainment system, you can set the spirit of ecstasy to automatically hide itself when you lock the car, or you can put it up and down on your own. Now, the infotainment system, it isn't bad, it works. You can connect your phone, Bluetooth, satellite radio, navigation. It's just maybe the interface isn't as up to date as some of the competitors. You can open and close this panel here to cover up the screen for your infotainment system. So if you want a clean look in here, you just close this cover with more of this piano black wood. The sound system is amazing. The clarity, the range of sound is excellent in here. Because the interior is so quiet, it's like in your living room and you're as comfortable as you would be in your house. to be nitpicky if you like spirited driving you do have to get used to the bulk and how it shifts weight especially the tighter the, the turns become but on nice sweeping turns oh it's got tremendous amount of grip this car when you roll up in it makes such a grand statement when you arrive and I think that's part of the appeal of this car to be honest with you this car is meant to be seen, and when you drive up in this car, you will be noticed. When my wife and I went into the city where there's a lot of restaurants and nightclubs, people just turned around and looked at this car. So if you want that thrill of, of being noticed, this car will provide that for you. So I'm sad to say I'm gonna to have to turn this Rolls Royce back over to Rolls Royce. Some people may think this car is just too big, too ostentatious, and I can understand that. It, it makes a big statement, but boy, there's a lot to like about this car. There's a lot of effort and attention to detail to craft this car, and you can really have some fun with it too. Great job, Rolls. I wish I could keep it, but I can't. It's gotta go back. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like this video, please hit like. Please subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Safe driving, everybody.